Kevin. There you are, right like I like you, on your knees. Now, that's for another video, honey. <laughs> uh, I got a comment on the, on the YouTube, I think it was, I saw it. A guy said, and I hear this a lot, you know, I, I hear this comment a lot, I get this question quite, quite often. I'm going to go buy myself a, a welder, and I want to know what the best one is, because I only want to have to buy it once. You know, I want to buy the best welder that does everything, MIG, TIG, stick, I mean, all of it, but I only want to buy it one, one time. And I keep asking, why? Why would you saddle yourself with today's technology or 10 years ago technology, you know, if you're going to buy a used one? Why would you saddle yourself with one particular style of technology and miss out on all the benefits of moving up to a newer machine? So here we have two MIG welders. They're both 250 amp machines. They both run on 220 single phase. This is my old Miller Matic 251. I bought this back in like late 03, early 04, you know, somewhere back in there. It may have been as late as 05. I really don't remember. Gray hairs. But a solid, solid machine. Still works, no, still fires up, still welds like a champ. I mean, this thing is a monster. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll keep this for as long as I can. It runs awesome. But all it does is what? You got voltage, you got wire speed. That's it, that's all it does. One other thing that this machine will do is it's got a hook up for a spool gun. So you can set it up to do aluminum if you have the spool gun, you have the optional spool gun that goes with it. So now this one is Longevity's MIG Weld 250MP. And that means it's a multiple pulse machine. So right off the bat, you've got a MIG welder that pulses. What else does it do? You can, you've got all these different setups in here. It also is a stick welder for the higher amperages that the MIGs just don't want to touch, you know, the thicker metals. You've got settings in here, you know, preset settings, if you're just going to run CO2 instead of argon and CO2. And then a single pulse, the double pulse, uh, it's got both 2T and 4T. Now what's that you say? Well, that's from like TIG welding, 2T. You pull the trigger, you pull the trigger and hold it, and it welds. 4T, you pull the trigger, it starts welding, you can let go of the trigger. So you don't have to have a, a cramp in your finger the whole time you're holding. You can just let go of the trigger, do all your welding, big long runs or whatever, click it again, and it stops. So some of the other things it does. It's got nine different presets. So you can set it up any way you want, have nine different pre-programmed modes for whatever kind of welding you're doing. Uh, it's got a test function for your gas. So not only can you test and make sure the pressure is set correctly on the regulator, but this also helps to bleed the gun, you know, so you, you don't get any porosity right off the bat on your first weld. And then it's got different settings over in here for different thicknesses of wire and different types of metal. Check out the size difference between the two machines. They're both 250 amp machines. An old transformer machine, a newer inverter machine. You get a lot more functions out of the newer technology. I keep this one around for sentimental reasons, and if I ever have somebody else here, like the voice, and we're both MIG welding, now we've got two different MIG welders that we can run at the same time. But newer technology, it makes more sense, uses less power because of the inverter technology over the transformer. How hungry are they? The Miller? The longevity.
we get a difference in the size of the wire. You know, pulls about 50 amps maximum, pulls about 25, maybe. It's amazing. See a difference in the power bill. Unplug this one, plug in this one. Next month, you see a difference in the power bill. What about consumables? What about guns? Well, they look pretty close to being the same. You know, th this one actually fits my hand a little better because it's a little bigger around where your fingers are going to grip it than this one is. Which is which? Well, well, th this is a Pro Star. This came with the Miller. This is a. I don't know. <laughs> uh, from CEI. So it's a Chinese torch. You know, it's a Chinese uh, uh, torch for this machine. It has, you know, this gun, you know, the Chinese gun for the longevity. You pretty much have to go back to longevity, as far as I know, to get tips or nozzles for this. The wire, wire fits everywhere. That's not a problem. But with the, with the Pro Star, from, for the Miller, now these are, I think they're Tweco compatible. Tweco is a torch manufacturer, wild, widely available. You, know, you can pick them up in any of the welding stores or what have you. If you need a new nozzle, you need tips for it or something like that. So, But I do know that you can get aftermarket guns for either machine. Uh, I've got a, a, a Bernard gun in there. It will fit this machine. You know, Bernard is, is, I believe, is made right here in America. It looks a lot like this. It's a little heavier than this one, a little bigger grip than this one. But again, it, it's an aftermarket gun that will fit either machine. So you're not limited to just using a proprietary tip or anything like that. Oh, yeah, price. Now, this is a 251, so it is obsolete already. They now have the 252 Miller Matic, and it is uh, 2350 out the door. Not always available. I, I just called my local welding store. He said, I just sold my last one. I'll get another one in a couple of weeks. You know, they don't have boxes of them sitting there. For the longevity MIG Weld 250 MP, $2,000 list, but just talked to Simon, the owner, over at Longevity, and he said, if you call in, we're giving you screaming discounts on it. So, you know, somewhere in the fourteen to $1,500 range, if you call in and order it over you know, on the phone, talk to them. Why would you spend all that extra money to buy a machine that doesn't have anywhere near the amount of functions? It uses more power. It takes up more room. So now you've got a machine that is really expensive, and you're stuck with it for, you know, 20, 30, 40 years because it lasts that long versus buying a cheaper one with more functions that takes up less room and uses less power. I'm going to go back to work. I got one job for you guys, if you would. Just find that little subscribe button. I think it's over there this time. And just give that little su subscribe button a poke for me so you know what's coming out, you know, what, what I'm up to next time. See you all next time. Oh, yeah, price. Stand up so I can read.